this casting is of a very old woodworking machine as you can see it's broken it's not just broken it's been repaired before it's been stick welded there and it's cracked through the weld what I'm going to do is try and repair it uh, it's quite important that these are at 90 degrees but there is a lot of wear in the gear so it's not absolutely critical I've just got to get it as good as I can there is some machine faces on the bottom so I'm going to bolt this to a piece of aluminium just to try and hold it sort of square while I weld it what I'll probably do is position it and then put a couple of tacks on and then lay this right out and use silicon bronze there should be a piece in there as well to support it that hasn't been put in so I'll put a piece in there as well which will give it some strength and I've got that log there to weld up as well so the first thing to do was to mark these holes out bolt it down on there and then go from there basically Right, I've got it all bolted up and we've got a 90 degrees between the two so I think I'm going to go and put a couple of tacks on some good tacks on each end and then V it out and put some filler material in and then say put a bridge piece in there because that's what gives it a lot of strength would have been ideal to weld this bolt it onto what it goes onto but what it goes onto seemingly weighs two and a half tons so that can't happen but it's going to be it's the best I can do really I've made this out and all I want to do is get two decent tacks on it so I can grain some more of it out the weld material is very hard it's probably been welded with a nickel rod see so I'm going to run bronze into it there'll be a lot of spattering and a lot of shite I would think comes out of this That did go in there quite nicely. Bring the camera in so you can have a look. So all I've done is put a good tack on each end and I can lay this out with a wheel and get some decent filler material into it. The thing with the silicon bronze is when it cools down it's got a bit of stretch about it. It's got some give to it, hopefully it won't crack. Uh, the biggest problem with cast iron is cracking. The other way to weld this way, you get the whole thing gluing really hot and weld it with a cast rod. But I've had good success using the silicon bronze. And we'll see what happens. Right, I've veered on quite deeply, done a bit of damage to it. So now we can get some penetration into it. Like I said, I'll build this bit up, put a bridge in there to give it some support. 
We'll probably turn it over, view either side and weld the back up as well. Right, as you can see, I've put a lot of weld build up into there. I've built all that up solid for weld, both sides. Plenty of filter bronze in there. I've laid out the other side. So that's cut right back in to the brass there. So now I'm going to put some bronze in there, and then that should hopefully, hopefully do it. It's still nice and hot. Hopefully nothing's going to crack. This mountain lug also needs building up, and that is a piece of graphite. So I've got to lay bronze onto that graphite, build that up, and then machine that hole back in there, and the bronze won't stick to the graphite. At least that's the, the theory of it. It's cooled down now, nice and slowly, and there's no signs of any crackage. And I've put loads and loads of reinforcement in there. That can be smoothed off, blended in, he can do that. And then we'll put the, the one weld underneath, and that's solid as well. We'll dress this lug up, sort that hole out, and that's me finished with it. This bronze cuts quite nicely with a nice short cutter and a die grinder. Just want to get the bolt well out the size. This is what I bought for Deb for Easter. It's a minor safety lamp. Or what they used to call a Davy lamp. This one here is a little bit of a special one. It's got a striker there that run a flint for starting it. It's also got a little nipple on there. And this was used to administer gas into there to test the lamp or to show how the lamp would work. Like an instructor lamp. What you've got inside of here is two fine gauze cones that allow air through but won't allow a flame to go past. These were used in the collieries to check for gas, flammable gas and poison gas called black damp. Now there is a way of getting it open that simply screws off there and there's a little pin in there with a spring that you can pull down with a magnet so I've been told so whether the magnet's not strong enough or what, I don't know. But I really do want to take it apart and I want to put a new flint in and put some oil in and actually use it. Or at least Deborah does. Anyway, that's it. That's what I bought for her. Not everybody's cup of tea, but she seems to like it. Once I can get it apart, we'll 
get it all cleaned up and get it working and hopefully do a little bit of film. I think the magnet's just not strong enough to pull down the, the metal the metal pin that's in there. This was to stop the miners from opening the lamp underground. Well, obviously the exposed the flame would be, would be dangerous. Building this dinosaur is one of the most relaxing things I've done for quite some time. We've cut all the parts out and now I'm tacking them all together just using a little bit of, bit of bronze welding. Wait that welding it's so never really or whatever it is. Clever the way it all interlocks together. Okay. The two legs. It is a fearsome bastard thing, this. Right, the tree's starting to take shape now. See out of there. There's vertebrae to go on there. And the top of his body goes on. And then his head. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. The door one, bigger, which is roughly twice the size of this one, which would be interesting to, to me. But at least just want to live in the house. I like it. Doesn't take much. Just a few tacks, that's all it needs. Right. Don't want somebody's tail now. Out the sizes as they go smaller as it gets towards this tail end. Makes it ideal for doing this because it's quick and fairly neat. I mean, you wouldn't want this bastard coming there for you, would you? Make sure his head's straight.
Right. I'm looking not too bad now, I mean. <laughs> I really do like it. I really do like it. I'll take them outside so I can see where he's all his glory. Look at that bastard. You won't want to name after you, would you really? Great sure Jeb says I can keep them in the house. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all our well wishes and kind words that come in. Anyway, thanks for watching.